Hey there everybody and well today I'm going to show you um, tutorial, as it is tutorial on how to convert video files like FOV because I showed you how to download uh, the, my la one of my previous tutorials but I'm going to show you how to play them on a select media, uh, media player so this is really for how to make like a battle for Windows Movie Maker or whatever you want uh, Sony Vegas or something like that any media player at all so what uh, let's do is go to Google and type in media coder. It's a media converter. There are a lot more like us here. This is the one I personally prefer. I will probably leave a link for some alternatives. If you just click on it and then just click download. And then you can just click whatever one uh, I'll just click six point the new one, get installer, let's put on. And then I'll just choose one of these, whatever. Um, can't be okay, whatever. Just click save file. And then we just wait till the lot downloads shouldn't take that long, so let's pause it. Okay, now that the download is complete, you just click on uh, install it. And if you're wondering how I got the uh, FOV file to play in uh, Windows Movie Maker, I might show that there for a future tutorial or maybe. But anyways, just go to run. Next. I agree. Next. And then you just go to install. Everything's fine. Okay, now it's completed. You can just uh, make sure that uh, runs. Just click funny. Now we just wait a second. The first thing you notice is you get that nine flash intro, which can be annoying because it goes on for eight seconds or so. And well, it just gets a bit annoying. As well, you may notice that this just comes up as a new tab or whatever here as well. But it gets annoying too, so you just click don't do not show and it's start media for. And you can just access now if you want. Okay, now we have media coder here. Well, now if you want to still want to set the flash video, just really like file settings. Sorry about that, just pause until it comes up. Okay, then this is up. Um, <coughs> you just go to click on overall, and then user interface comes up. Just click on that there again, and then just scroll down until you see 8 seconds. And then just you can click on zero, so it just starts up <coughs> automatically. And let's apply it. Then that's it, so that thing won't show up anymore. Okay, now, to, now you just drag in the file in there, and then you can choose the audio settings and everything. But 
won't ask the reason those fine for there. But then we can you can set it for AVA for like Windows Movie Maker or whatever. But then you can just click on start. But if you want um, to make it for the iPod sign, just click on the extensions tab there. And then you can just that if you want. And then you get the option here for MP3 and MP4 players. And then it just shows you the settings, and then you can just start it. That starts translating everything. It doesn't take that long or anything to try and school, but I just want this to go for the long training. So anyways, that's basically the whole video. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please rate, subscribe, or comment.